Hello again, uh, traders. Right, um, it is the weekend. It's Saturday morning at uh, silly o'clock. It is 6.49. And what I thought I'd do is uh, do what I've done all week and draw some levels on the dragon. Uh, long and short levels. And then literally all we have to do is uh, watch the RSI histo, watch the price and see where uh, see where price goes you know it's working extremely well um, there are a few things that I'm noticing about the uh, uh, the sonic R strategy that um, you know I was uh, messing around at that I'm talking about this uh, this uh, band here the 34 EMA uh, high low and close so you can set it up on any trading uh, station uh, um, software so, and this is the 89 EMA, it seems to work well as a, um, as a filter for longs and shorts. But uh, that's another thing, and uh, if you need to find out more about that, read up on, uh, read up on uh, Sonic R thread on uh, Forex Factory. But, for the purpose of this morning, I'll explain what Sonic does. He waits for, or did, used to do. He wanted to see a break up through the um, through the uh, high of the 34 EMA or the Dragon, and um, and then a pullback, which we can see clearly. This is like our bust pullback, and then break and close scenario here. Three candle reversals are always uh, going to be prominent in my trading. So perfect entry would have been that three candle reversal with a break of the 20 level that is our absolute um, you know triple uh, a triple plus uh, entry the three candle reversal accompanied by a uh, break of the 20 level uh, potential possibly most uh, likely you want also to see the bust up the pullback so you need red you need at least a green red green scenario going on um, one red bar is fine but if we can pull below the zero line it is absolutely fantastic and then you know you can draw a descending trend line you can draw an ascending trend line you can draw the major trend downtrend which will be signified by the dragon the dragon just makes life extremely easy visually and as I've said on tweets on Twitter it's almost like it's a self-fulfilling pro prophecy you do want to where possible to see the dragon turning up the easiest way to see whether everything looks good is just to drop down to the uh, lower time frame sorry I prefer my lines um, uh, green and dotted I've uh, actually loaded a new uh, demo account this is a, um, a Hugo's Way demo account uh, do your own due diligence on that. Have a look on Google, and you oops, I didn't change that. Die, and you will see that. Uh, make up your own mind about what um, you think about that. But the demo is fantastic. The data, there's plenty of pairs. The cryptos are fantastic, and it works well. And it's free and instant. Just download it from their site, top right hand corner of Hugo's Way. Download it. Open up a live account, and you're away. In seconds without even having to give an email address at this point in time so yeah drop down on the lower time frame uh, go to one minute and we shall see what the uh, dragon looks like on that time frame and as you can see we've pulled up above trended up low high high low high high we've used that uh, old resistance in the downtrend as new support in the uptrend and uh, as I said the RSI looks absolutely fantastic on that uh, on that time frame too so that's oh and the the angle that's what we were looking at have a look at the um, angle of the sorry I'm struggling using trading view and MT4 yeah you can see you've clearly got the angle uh, moving up as well now so um, that's how you use the multi time frame for this so what are we looking at here today right well if price remember uh, we're always looking to climb down the stairs as it were 
So let's uh, set that up properly too. Like in very pale blue. Oh, need to take the ray off of that as well. Like in the very pale blue thickness to trend line. Put the scroll back on. So this is our uptrend, a series of higher highs uh, and higher lows and the connection line as I keep rem reminding uh, people if you're new to this, this isn't a valid touch point until that high is broken and as for downtrend it's the same thing. This is not a valid touch point until this low is broken. Far easier to see on the um, line charts. The line charts I've loved for years and years and years but they're really really coming into their own when we add the dragon into the mix. So uh, if we move up a time frame these will smooth themselves out even better and um, you know the trend lines will always then start to look a bit uh, iffy, odd, call it what you like but we always always remember we always use the higher time frames, they always take precedence off over the lower time frames. So the whole point of this video is to actually see whether we can do exactly the same as we've done on the weekly uh, on the weekly FX charts. Uh, I mean by that I mean the weekday charts rather, not the weekly time frame. And see whether we can draw some levels and um, predict some entry points for trades and we could do this on XRP, we can do it on any of these uh, better to stick to the well known ones like ETH, I hate Bitcoin, everyone raves about Bitcoin but the charts look awful compared to uh, the way ETH and uh, now XRP moves, if we look at Bitcoin you'll probably see a lot of yeah I mean it just, it just madness, all of this area effectively was pretty much untradeable whereas if you look at uh, XRP for the similar period you've got uh, good short possibilities there you've got long possibilities scalping I'm talking about you know nice steady trends Bitcoin yuck Ugh. horrible stuff uh, ETH isn't an awful lot better because that tended to follow Bitcoin um, but in my opinion um, far easier to or far more stress free to trade but XRP at the moment is just proving stunning so back to the five minute chart let's draw some levels on here uh, why right, right we know this is the uptrend so in order to um, consider shorting this we would like to where's my oh, I haven't got it on here have I insert shapes um, in order to consider shorting this you would want to see a uh, valid reversal signal below that low there apologies I'm not sure whether I can ever get this in the foreground I've tried and it doesn't to do it so we lose a bit of that blue box behind there that's what I'm talking about there so a breakdown below there we'd pop down, pull back and then the dragon would be in the right configuration to the downside. Uh, we would most likely have a perfect bust down, pull back, break and close. We would also most likely have uh, all the three CRs aligned uh, in the high to low time frames as well. So perfect, perfect position to consider entering and notice it's a part of the stairway to the up move as it were. Currently, it's not managed to make a higher high. So, um, at this point, we would be looking to have a problem at this level here. So, that we're always trying to look for a big gap. Sorry, we need to put that, um, add that uh, box to my toolbar. There it is there. So, add another level we can clearly see this is a whole area of uh, resistance creating that uh, it hasn't actually but it's created a downtrend but it hasn't created a lower low but uh, resistance acting as support 
and so that would be the sensible gap to expect the price to come through little bounce off of this area here so if you wanted to uh, enter the trade and take some profit at that midway point there that uh, sort of uh, resistance acting as support there so I've got alerts all over the place these days I prefer that line to be a bit uh, thicker too Of uh, pale blue going on there as well. Oops, why is that not? Uh, this is the transition with <coughs> trading view. Apologies, I get to all sorts of uh, problems. There we go. So, uh, yeah, might have a bounce there, so it's always wise to have these levels. So, you know, be aware of them so that a they don't shake you out of the trade if you're in a short expecting it to go to this serious uh, demand area here or um you know or just take your profits there and watch the bounce and perhaps even enter back into the trade so many ways to skin this cat so um if we were looking for longs we've lost um on this time frame we've uh, missed our opportunity the sensible level to consider trading the breakout would be the opposite of what we are looking at uh, to the downside which is that area there the reason being that's the stairway down high low lower high lower low if we were looking at this on the one minute chart this would be a clear uh, v-shaped same as this situation here uh, over here so all you're using is this pattern this pattern to enter on the lower time frame so um, you know it just keeps repeating itself patterns within patterns within patterns over here this would look the same as what we're looking at here in um, you know if you drop down to the one minute chart so it's just the fractal nature of the markets and that's how I identified 2B reversals I mean you can clearly see a 2B reversal there Sperandio's level would have been there when the price breaks through uh, then he would expect to start looking for longs as the price breaks back up through these levels simple as that so that would be his poke as it were this is his uh, trigger and as soon as we'd broken through the high of the trigger that's where you'd expect to go long and I, I always look for closes and if you notice this this was this wouldn't have been a trigger anyway because we haven't got the momentum but as you come back over here when it's pulled back again that is effectively the bust pull back break and close up close being the uh, close of the price which is the line chart above that level there that high um, and uh, as you can see then the uh, self-fulfilling uh, self-fulfilling prophecy kicks in and uh, once again the dragon starts to look right the RSI looks right three CRs are involved in here as well we're above the 89 EMA as well even if you want to involve that in the decision making and we are clearly above the dragon and this highlights a point that um, I um, am noticing where we veer away from Sonic R's Sonic DJ whatever you want to call him on Forex Factory he would be waiting for the poke above the dragon then the pullback then the continuation sometimes his method gets him in earlier sometimes because we understand what a downtrend and what this actually is a break of a valid resistance level by the up move we understand that uh, that is the critical level now we're looking to the left for the breakouts not as in the sonic r thing to the right in other words this level would be his uh, suggestion for con uh, considering the entry this level is where we consider the entry because this is the downtrend I hope that makes sense that's this is a new so this is important to put into your uh, notebook as it were this is hot off the press a new alteration to the dragon because I didn't want to confuse things right at the start when I entered uh, or <laughs> nearly said entered the dragon when I um, brought the dragon back into the process as it were because I didn't want to confuse things 
but it's worth always mentioning you know as you learn new stuff by looking at charts you need to adapt and change and that's the way I look at it but there is nothing wrong with using both in my opinion but you need to be careful if you're using this side the left hand side trigger from Sonic and you're trading straight into resistance on the right hand uh, left hand side so the right hand side I might have said the left there if you're using the Sonic side be aware that if you are uh, trading into what I call valid resistance you may well have a problem so always try and make sure you've got clear air between uh, the dual possibilities if you like you'll see the left hand you'll see this uh, sonic entry sonic side if you like uh, blast through these levels without worrying that's all about accumulation that's all about the pullbacks that's all about uh, trends being um, you know the the up move just having overpowered the down move so uh, you know it's, it's swings and roundabouts but you decide which uh, risk level you would like to take and which uh, uh, thing you'd like to employ the other thing to enter in or mention is this is a horrid looking reversal actually because it's such a deep reversal it means you know when you want to put your stop your stop has got to be quite far away I mean if you'd considered entering here for various wrong reasons your stop would have been taken out you know because the stop needs to be below the last level of support or you know resistance rather in um, in the, the down move because that's the level that will be become the test level if you like old resistance acting as new support so you want to be well below that level but you know whereabouts well the, the candle lows will help you a bit you know you could say right okay down here but you still would have got stopped out that's why this is a dangerous looking reversal because it's so deep at this point here what by comparison you want to try and look for sh uh, shallow reversals something like this going on here on the lower time frame would be you know your if you can imagine that swing there is this bit here this bit here is this bit here so as you can see and this bit here is this bit here as you can see this is a much safer prospect and if you look at it on the line chart you see that clearly what I'm trying to explain to you that swing one two three that swing one two three there's swing two where you want your stop below your entry is well over here as you notice this didn't even think about pulling back uh, any further than this high here so shallow reversal you've had two lessons in one video here and uh, deep scary dangerous reversal okay think about that that really is a great example of a good uh, a bad p possible entry although it still can be per traded perfectly well but uh, remember as a scalper just take your money and run because you don't want to get expecting to go up here with this and uh, all of a sudden it stops so uh, yeah lovely shallow reversal horrible deep reversal great examples there on this chart so today we we can be waiting for a pullback or because this move is effectively happened already we need to move up the higher time frame and look at the levels on that and this still remains valid break below there pull back continuation with the um, with the RSI agreement here um, we need to really just watch for the breakout and we can see we're expecting a breakout because uh, the price is testing this level up here another really good interesting point it's tested it it's forced a pullback sellers have really had a go then it's come back and tested that level again and this is the Asian session lovely strong Asian session uh, overnight it's come back tested again but it's failed to make a lower low that's really important that means the sellers are weakening off simple as that then it's come up and tested it again and it's failed to make a low low it might continue on down 
we don't know but if it comes up and tests it again and it has increasing momentum so in other words what we want to see really is a higher time frame uh, break of this momentum if we get a break of that momentum high in other words we get that's the bust that's the pullback break and close above that green high there which uh, we have to double check this because it always means uh, it's a weird weird indicator 1931.35 that's correct so if we even got 1931.36 after this red we went to green again that's likely to be a absolutely spot on trigger because of the amount of tests we've had at this level and the fact that it's failed to go lower so it's just common sense trading guys so i was going to do a few more blue lines on uh, you know the boxes the breakout areas on some other charts but this video has got too long now so uh, i'm just going to do what i have to do to process and upload it and um you know hopefully if i have the inclination then I may do another one on these other pairs. But literally, you know, this is all you have to do. Draw your lines on your support and resistance levels. Watch what the dragon does on multiple time frames and trade it accordingly. Remembering, of course, that uh, this is in a massive strong uptrend. You know, you don't need uh, to be Einstein to see that. And... Um, you know uh, everyone's talking about just buy the dips on cryptos and uh, it's not a bad strategy but you don't have to do it blind with this strategy you do not have to do it blind just follow the indicators it has to pull back they love to take profit they love to you know that's what the algos are trained to do if you like programmed to do so don't you know all these um, guys that say hold 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 the lunatics really you know all you've got to do is uh, sorry can't resist drawing these levels all you got to do is um, trade up down and sideways using a method like this simple as that draw your levels watch your RSI histo watch price action trade the um, breaks thanks for watching have a great day and a weekend in fact Why is that not closing?